वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज वाइब्रेटरी शिफ्टर इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री ए वाइब्रो शिफ्टर ऑल्सो नोन एज वाइब्रेटरी शिफ्टर इज ए मशीन दैट सेपरेट्स मटेरियल्स बेस्ड ऑन देयर पार्टिकल साइज यूजिंग गायरेटरी और वाइब्रेटरी मोशन व्हाट आर द की पार्ट्स ऑफ वाइब्रेटरी शिफ्टर यू कैन रेफर बिलो पिक्टोरियल फॉर की पार्ट्स ऑफ वाइब्रेटरी शिफ्टर की पार्ट्स इंक्लूड्स फीडिंग इनलेट शील्ड आउटलेट पोर्ट एंटी वाइब्रेटिंग स्प्रिंग इंजिन बेस इलेक्ट्रोमोटर सी फ्रेम एंड क्लैम्प वॉट लेयर शिफ्टर्स आर कॉमनली यूज इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री वन लेयर टू लेयर्स थ्री लेयर्स एंड फोर लेयर्स शिफ्टर्स आर कॉमनली यूज इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री वॉट आर द टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्लीनिंग डन फॉर वाइब्रेटरी शिफ्टर फर्स्ट टाइप इज ड्राई क्लीनिंग This cleaning is usually done between batch to batch change overs before wet cleaning or at the end of day's operation. Second type is wet cleaning. It is also known as product to product cleaning. This cleaning is done usually between product to product change overs after 6 to 8 days of continuous production of the same product during a major breakdown of the machine or after the device has been ideal for 30 days. When we should qualify a vibrator shifter in pharmaceutical industry? There are three cases or conditions in which we should qualify vibratory shifter in pharma industry. First is at the time of initial introduction of vibratory shifter to the system or facility. Secondly, periodic requalification. This is done based on the plant specific SOP, usually after two years or three years. Third is when major change is done to the qualified equipment that is vibratory shifter. This one is more technical question. Question is what we should do for hard material shifting in vibratory shifter. We can follow these eight steps or guidance points for hard material shifting in vibratory shifter. First, select robust screen material. Second, choose optimal screen configuration. Third, adjust vibration parameters. Fourth, regularly inspect and maintain. Fifth, monitor and adjust feed rates. Sixth, utilize secondary agitation. Seventh, implement rigorous cleaning, and eight, document process parameters. What are the main factors that affect the efficiency and effectiveness of a vibratory shifter in pharmaceutical applications? Here is the list of six main factors that affect efficiency and effectiveness of vibratory shifter. It includes first, material properties, which are particle size, shape, density, and moisture content. second is screen characteristics which includes mesh size type tension and surface area other main factors are vibration parameters equipment design feed rate and distribution and environmental factors like temperature humidity and air flow conditions how do you properly set up and adjust a vibratory shifter for different types of pharmaceutical materials you can refer below four bullet points for properly setting up and adjust a vibratory shifter these are first material analysis which includes assessing particle size density and flow characteristics second is screen selection third vibration adjustment and fourth is feed rate control how to check level of vibratory shifter in pharmaceutical industry basically there are two methods for level checking of vibratory shifter these are first vibration that is start by visually inspecting the material inside the shifter second is by using measurement tool utilize appropriate measurement tools such as rulers depth gauges or laser sensors to measure the height of the material within the shifter basic but important which material is used as material of construction or moc for shifter stainless steel grades such as 304 and 316 stainless steel are commonly used because they offer excellent resistance to corrosion and chemical reactions ss316 is used as product contact parts of vibratory shifter what are the commonly used sizes of shifter available in pharmaceutical industry the smaller sizes such as 12 inches and 24 inches are often used for laboratory or pilot scale operations medium sizes like 36 inches and 48 inches are suitable for moderate production volumes and are commonly found in pharmaceutical manufacturing facilities larger sizes like 72 inches are used for high volume production and can handle larger quantities of material 
what checks shall be performed for sieve before using for sifter in the pharmaceutical industry following are the four important checks that shall be performed for sieve before using for sifter in pharma industry these are first visual inspection that is check for damage wear or deformities on the sieve surface and frame second is mesh integrity third size verification and fourth is cleanliness what is use of first deck and second deck of vibratory sifter the first deck typically equipped with a coarser mesh is used to remove large particles or foreign contaminants from the material the second deck usually fitted with a finer mesh is used for finer separation ensuring that the particles meet the required specification what is use of gyro motor in vibratory sifter the gyro motor in a vibratory sifter generates multiplane inertial vibrations which facilitates the efficient movement and separation of particles on the sifter screens what to be done to avoid the static charge generation during vibratory sifter operation following are the four ways by which we can avoid the static charge generation during vibratory sifter operation first is use anti static materials second humidity control third proper grounding and fourth is additives that is incorporation of anti static additives into the material being sifted to minimize the static electricity generation during operation how vibration is formed during operation of vibratory sifter vibration in a vibratory sifter is generated by an eccentric motor which rotates weights that are off center this rotation creates centrifugal force causing the entire sifter assembly to oscillate or vibrate what is the noise level of the sifter the noise level of a sifter can vary depending on factors such as size and type of equipment the speed of operation and the surrounding environment typically vibratory sifters produce noise levels ranging from 70 to 90 decibels during operation typically target is 80 decibels during operation what are the potential risk associated with improper operation or maintenance of a vibratory sifter in the pharma industry and how can they be mitigated you can refer below table for potential risk and their mitigation strategies the major potential risk are cross contamination equipment failure regulatory non compliance and reduced efficiency what are the some common troubleshooting techniques for identifying and resolving issues with a vibratory sifter during operation you can refer below table for issues and their corresponding troubleshooting techniques the major issues are uneven material flow excessive vibrations screen blockage inconsistent separation efficiency noise or abnormal sounds and material contamination how do you determine the appropriate mesh size for the screens used in a vibratory sifter based on the particle size distribution of the pharmaceutical material step 1 analyze particle size distribution that is psd step 2 identify target separation range step 3 select mesh size that is choose mesh size that corresponds to the desired cut points in the psd that is particle size distribution how do you perform routine maintenance tasks such as lubrication inspection and replacement of wear parts on a vibratory sifter first is lubrication and inspection regularly lubricate bearings and moving parts as per manufacturer's guideline inspect screens gaskets and seals for wear or damage ensuring all components are clean and free from residue second is replacement of wear parts replace worn and damaged screens gaskets and seals promptly to maintain sifter efficiency what are the potential consequences of overloading and underloading a vibratory sifter and how can these issues can be avoided you can refer below table for issues like overloading and underloading and their potential consequences and prevention measures who are the leading suppliers for vibratory sifter in india and worldwide you can refer below details of leading suppliers from india and worldwide what safety features are commonly available with sifter safety interlocks overload protection emergency stop button guarding and enclosures and anti static design are the safety features commonly available with sifter what are the additional features are commonly available with sifter adjustable vibratory parameters 
क्विक चेंज स्क्रीन मल्टीपल डेक कॉन्फिग्रेशन इंटीग्रेटेड डस्ट कलेक्शन टच स्क्रीन इंटरफेस आर द एडिशनल फीचर्स दैट आर कॉमनली अवेलेबल विथ सिप्टर वॉट आर द मेजर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सिप्टर इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री पार्टिकल साइज क्लासिफिकेशन एंड डी एग्लोमरेशन आर द मेजर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सिप्टर इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री हाउ कैपेसिटी ऑफ सिप्टर इज कैलकुलेटेड कैपेसिटी ऑफ सिप्टर इज इक्वल टू स्क्रीनिंग एरिया इन टू मटेरियल बेड डेप्थ इन टू मटेरियल डेन्सिटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय मटेरियल फ्लो रेट वॉट आर द रिसेंट एडवांसमेंट इन सिफ्टर फॉर फार्मा इंडस्ट्री बिलो आर द फ्यू एरियाज इन विच वी कैन सी द एडवांसमेंट इन सिफ्टर फॉर फार्मा इंडस्ट्री दीज एरियाज आर ऑटोमेशन मटेरियल हैंडलिंग सीव डिजाइन कंटेनमेंट स्क्रीन क्लीनिंग कंप्लायस फीचर्स एंड इर्गोनॉमिक्स लास्ट एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच गाइडलाइंस आर कॉमनली रेफर्ड फॉर सिफ्टर इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री गुड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रैक्टिसेस दैट इज जीएमपी इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन हार्मोनाइजेशन दैट इज आईसीएस गाइडलाइंस यूएसपी गाइडलाइंस एंड आईएसओ गाइडलाइंस आर द कॉमनली रेफर्ड गाइडलाइंस फॉर सिफ्टर इन फार्मा इंडस्ट्री डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू आवर फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री